Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. You know, the JL Rubicon really is a great vehicle. It's very capable right off of the dealership lot. But, well, here at Quadratech, you know, we just can't leave well enough alone. I'm sure you guys know it as well. We can definitely make some improvements to this vehicle that's gonna make it even better out on some trails. Now, today, that's the project that I'm kicking off. Over the next few weeks, We've got a whole host of products we're gonna be installing on this Wrangler to improve everything from wheels and tires to suspension, bumpers, lighting, recovery, you name it. I've got a very large pile of stuff that's been accumulating over here in the corner of the shop for some time now. I'm not gonna show you guys it just yet. You gotta hang on for that. But as I go along and build up this vehicle, I'm gonna be giving you an in-depth look a closer look at those products while I'm installing them. So if you haven't already, you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that you're subscribed right here to our YouTube channel and make sure you hit that notification button as well. So you'll be sure to be the first to know when we upload a new video, which should be every Friday for the next couple weeks as I complete this buildup. Now, we offer a wide selection of really, really great products for your Jeep here at Quadratech. But there is one company that we've had a pretty long relationship with. I've always enjoyed working with them, and I've always really admired the products that they produce. Can you guys guess who I'm talking about yet? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to keep you on the hook for just a few minutes more. So we made a phone call, and we ran through everything we wanted to improve. And well, as I mentioned, I've got a very large pile of products sitting here ready to go, ready to be installed on our Wrangler. Now, before we dive into what those products are, I wanted to introduce you to our project vehicle. This is a 2021 Snazberry Rubicon JL equipped with the three liter eco diesel under the hood. Now it belongs to Matt, who is our content editor here at Quadratech. Now chances are, if you've been out to one of our local events here in Westchester, or hey, maybe even to Easter Jeep Safari or cross paths with us at maybe the SEMA show or another auto show, you've probably ran into Matt. Now, if you've headed over to the Torque section on the website and read any of those great how-to articles, blog posts, or industry news pieces, you've probably read some of Matt's writing. And he's one of our editors that puts together those great pieces for you over there. And if you haven't checked those out already, you'll definitely want to hit that info button to head over to the Torque section after this video, of course, and check out some of those really great how-to articles and industry news pieces. Now, I'm sure that he's going to be chronicling the buildup of his Wrangler over there in written form as we do it here on YouTube. And he'll definitely be giving you guys some updates after we finish the buildup of his Wrangler. Now, he's owned it for a couple months now and put a few thousand miles on it. And he's had the chance to get out to some of our local off-road parks, Roush Creek Off-Road Park, Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area. And, well, it is a Rubicon, as you would expect. It performed really well, especially with that diesel under the hood. But in stock form, it definitely had some shortcomings. He's got quite a few scratches on the underside of this vehicle on the skid plates and well, on some of the wheels and on those rock sliders as well to prove where he got hung up. But that's okay, because we're gonna be fixing all that over the next couple weeks. So without keeping you guys on the hook any longer, let me go, let me go grab some of these. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna grab some of these parts. All right, so you can see I've got a set of Mickey Thompson Baja Boss All Terrains 37 1250s that should perform excellent for us on this vehicle, whether we're on the road, on the trail, whether Matt's out for a multi-day adventure or just a weekend trip up to the local off-road park, the Baja Boss All Terrain should be a perfect setup for this vehicle. And in addition to those tires, don't go anywhere. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a huge pile of parts. All right, so as you guys can clearly see, we called up our friends at American Expedition Vehicles, AEV, and they've got us covered with just about everything we need to build up this Wrangler. One of the things that I've always really, really liked about AEV is the level of detail that they pay to these products that they produce. Yes, while AEV's products may be on the higher end of the price point, well, you really are getting a very high quality part 
a OE quality part that you can rest easy knowing that, well, you know, in a few years after installing these parts on your vehicle, they're still gonna look just as good as the day you put them on, albeit with maybe a few beauty marks that they picked up along the way through the course of your adventures. Now, to just give you a quick overview of what we have here on the pallet, I've got a set of wheels. I'm not gonna tell you what wheels yet. You're gonna have to hang on to see what wheels we install on here. Of course, we've got some differential covers to add some additional protection to the underside of this Wrangler. We've got a suspension, and this is again going back to one of those things I really like about AEV. As I mentioned, this Wrangler is equipped with a three liter eco diesel. So the suspension we got is specifically tuned to handle the extra weight of that diesel up front in this Wrangler. Now, as you can see, we've also got some lights on here and well, we've got their new RX front and rear bumper and tire carrier to get installed. Now, as I mentioned, when we're done, this thing is gonna to be totally transformed and ready to tackle just about any type of terrain we throw at it. You're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you can follow the build up along the way. I'm gonna be giving you guys an in-depth, closer look at a lot of these fantastic parts while I'm installing them. So I thought today to kick everything off, well, since we've got everything here, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some of the products out of the boxes, go ahead and start, well, stripping down the Wrangler and getting rid of anything we're not gonna need any longer so that, well, we can move on to the fun stuff. So at this point, we've got the front and rear bumpers removed from the Jeep. And before I dive into the suspension, well, I thought we'd take the opportunity to add a little additional protection to the front and rear axle in the way of some new AV high strength nodular iron diff covers. Now, as you can see, I already went ahead and drained our front axle and removed that factory diff cover. Now, before we take a look at the new diff cover, anytime you're performing a diff service, it's always the perfect opportunity to just inspect everything inside of your axle housing from your ring gear to your spider gears and pinion gear and make sure there's no damage that has occurred. Of course, this Jeep is virtually brand new, so we shouldn't expect to see anything wrong inside of our differential housing. The factory drain bolt actually has a magnet built right onto it to help collect any metal particles that may have accumulated there in your differential housing. Now, what you really wanna look for are larger pieces of metal. Here we see just a thick gear oil that's got some very, very fine metal shavings accumulated in it. That's all perfectly normal to see. Now, if we take a look at the two diff covers here on the cart, you'll immediately notice the advantage you can gain by switching from this, well, very lightweight, thin, stamped diff cover from the factory to this heavy duty, high strength, nodular iron diff cover from AEV. And one thing I really like, we flip it over and check out the inside right there, made right here in the USA. Now, first off, you can see that that entire diff cover is made from a much, much thicker material than that lightweight stamped housing. And that means it's gonna be able to stand up to those direct impacts to the face of the diff cover by any potential rocks that you may accidentally encounter out on the trail to help lessen the chance that something is gonna puncture right through that cover itself. Now, the other added benefit, as you can see, is just how much material we have around the mounting surface of the AEV cover. If we start at the top half, you'll see we've got about 3 8 inches of material here. Now, as we move our way down to the lower half of that cover, well, that steps up to a full half inch of material. Much more substantial than if we take a look at that factory cover, we've got, well, less than about an eighth inch of material. And that's gonna help to resist from that diff cover peeling back away from the axle housing, especially on that rear cover if we're sliding off an obstacle or dragging across a rock. Well, that factory stamped cover could potentially get peeled right back like a tin can, allowing all your precious gear oil to run right out of your axle. That's just something you're not gonna have to worry about with this high strength cover from AEV. Now, another benefit by having that thick material on the mounting surface there, we can use a socket cap bolt to hold the new cover in place. And once they're installed, you can see they're perfectly flush with the actual cover, which means we don't have to worry about damaging those bolts if we make contact with a rock on the trail. We're always gonna be able to get a tool in there so that we can pull those bolts back out and perform a future diff service. Now, another thing that I really like that Jeep has done is switch to this reusable gasket here, which makes installing your new AEV cover very easy. We don't have to fumble 
with getting old RTV off of the axle housing or creating a new gasket, we can simply line up this reusable gasket on the back side of our new AEV cover and then start by finger tightening those bolts to hold the cover in place. We can come back and torque those bolts to between 18 and 22 foot pounds in a nice even crisscross pattern. With the differential cover installed, now we can check out two more features that I really like on the face of the AV cover here. I'm actually gonna grab our factory diff cover first to show, of course, we have our fill plug right there on the face of the cover. Now that plug also serves another function, and that is an oil level indicator. As we're filling our differential up with fresh gear oil, when it starts to weep from that hole, we know we've got the appropriate amount of fluid in our differential, and of course we can go ahead and put that plug back in place. Now, AV has actually given us two fill plugs on their diff cover. We've got one here in the factory location, of course, that's going to allow us to either, you know, fill that differential up with some fresh gear oil if we like, but it's also positioned at the correct height to act as that indicator for us. When fluid starts weeping from that hole, we're going to know that we're at the appropriate amount of fluid and we can go ahead and install that plug. Now it is worth noting on a side note that anytime you're completing a differential service, you should always inspect and top off your diff fluid with the vehicle parked on level ground with the weight of the vehicle and suspension down on the axle. You wanna do that of course, because here up on the lift with the suspension at full droop, well, the angle of that axle could change slightly and with it slightly rotated forward, well, it could lead to us underfilling that differential with oil, something you definitely don't wanna do. So always make sure even if you're completing the job up on a lift or on jack stands, that you do your final check with the vehicle parked down on level ground. Now I mentioned there is a second fill plug and AV has put that right up here at the top of the differential cover. We've got this great oversized fill plug. Now that not only is gonna make it much easier for us to add fresh gear oil to our differential during a service, but it's also a great inspection port. So with a flashlight, it's gonna allow us to actually inspect our ring gear teeth. We can grab the drive shaft and spin that around so we can get a complete look at our ring gear there. It's also going to allow us to inspect for any chances of possible water ingress, all without having to remove the cover or even drain the fluid from our axle. This oversized plug is also using a nice O-ring on here which means you're going to be able to remove and reinstall that plug just as easily, whether you're here in your garage or in your driveway as you will on the side of the trail without the need to have any kind of thread sealant or Teflon tape to make sure that you don't have any leaks when you reinstall that plug. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get our front axle wrapped up here, fill it with some fresh gear oil. Then we're gonna move on to the rear and get that rear cover swapped out as well. And then next week, well, it's time to move on to the suspension. Now, if you guys wanna get more information or to purchase an AV high strength differential cover for your Jeep, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the covers or how to get them installed, you can always leave this for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so you be sure to catch the rest of our AEV project buildup as well as plenty more. Until next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.